Hey there guys and welcome back to No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. In the last part we did some side jobs, earned some money. And now we're going to... Oh my god. Where the hell are we going? It's the gym. In the last... In the previous, in the first... <coughs> in the first No More Heroes. You trained at Thunder Ryu's place. But because he's dead, they had to put in another guy. And they put in one of the most overly homosexual video game characters I have ever seen. And training is also 8-bit minigames. This one's for training stamina. Wait, what? Okay, that guy really creeps me the fuck out. I'm not, uh, not a homophobe or anything. Don't have anything against gay people, but this guy is just... Ugh, he's just wacky. I mean, look at that chest hair. That's just wrong. I don't really don't want to see if the curtains match the drapes. Uh. Oh, okay. We can turn around. Pretty much you mash L and R to run. And he keeps on changing the direction of the freaking thing. Which does not make it any easier, but because it's only the first level, it's pretty easy. You just need to manage to not fall off the treadmill until the time runs out, which is not an impossible task. Oh, whoa, 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 crap, crap. Almost fell for it again. Alright, we finished. Our stamina's gone up. Perfect. Max health increased. Perfect. Did he just say he wants to pump me up? Oh. I have to get the hell out of here as fast as I can. Okay, let's do some muscle training. A is punch, B is kick. We get to beat the hell out of a gay guy. Sweet. Alright, bring it on. Oh wait, he's gonna throw dumbbells at us. Crap. Man, I keep thinking Travis has bigger hitboxes than he does. This is hard. What's I can do? Oh crap. He shoots hearts at us. This place is creeping me the fuck out. I need to get out of here. Oh, we can duck as well. Not grabbing the big one. Chooses a freaking random direction. So, uh... Did we pass? Apparently not. Oh, man. I am gonna waste so much money on this. But I'm not giving up. Will not be defeated by a gay guy wearing spandex with... Too much chest hair throwing dumbbells at us. I mean, we fought assassins. Then this guy should be no problem. Although it would be easier if we had our lightsaber. Alright, bring it on, you asshole. There we go. Crap. Crap. I'm gonna mess up again. Aw, oh, man. That's another 2,000 bucks down the frickin' drain. Punch, punch, punch. And kick, duck, punch, kick, kick, duck, and this one is sweet. I actually blocked that one. I'm getting better and better. Oh, come on. Don't be so freaking overly critical. You're like a freaking driving test examinator. Those guys are way too critical all the time as well. Yeah, let's just try again. We still have some money left, so we're going to keep on trying until we get it. Even if it takes... Forever! Alright, bring it on. There we go, so far so good. Nice. Very nice. Sweet, I'm actually going to do it. Come on. Do we, do we like, need to get a perfect run if you want to beat this or something? Crap. It's not a perfect run. Oh, come on. Fingers crossed. Oh, screw you. Go sit on a... Ugh. This is incredibly frustrating. Still have 90,000 left. So we can work out with... Mr. Mustache here for quite a while. Even though I really don't want to. 
But it would be handy if we hit a bit harder. Crap. Why does Travis have such short and stubby arms? This sucks. It's way too difficult. There, there, there. And that one. Crap. Crap. There we go. Okay, come on. Please. Yes. Apparently after losing five times, you get an automatic win or something. The game takes pity on you. Here, you spent like 10,000 bucks on punching flying dumbbells. So we'll just give it to you anyway. Yeah. Oh well, I had money enough to blow anyway. And now let's get the hell out of here before that guy wants to blow something else. If you catch my drift. Uh, what's Airport 51? Let's check that out. Uh, I have no freaking clue what that is. It looks like a store. Oh, uh, it's the clothes store. Okay, well, maybe we can use a new outfit. Hello there, guy with the creepy skull mask. Yeah. Take your time and pick something you like. Okay, we'll see if there's something I like. Uh, let's try t-shirts. Damn, they have a lot of t-shirts, man. Uh, pandas. Nah, I don't really like any of them. Old school jacket. Nah. Nah, the old school jacket looks kind of lame. Old school pants, pretty much exactly the same sunglasses. Mmm, nah. Wristband. Mmm. I think I might get this. Yeah, the old school wristband has a black glove, which is much cooler than a white one. Belt. I'll take it. Yeah, we got that belt. Looks kind of nice. Even though I actually, I like never ever wear freaking belts. And I like these shoes better as well, so we'll buy them. Got a new pair of sneakers, so we can kick more ass. Peace, bro. Thanks, Mr. Skullface. Skeletor. Or Taskmaster, whichever one you prefer. I prefer Taskmaster, because he's pretty freaking awesome. It's like my favorite Marvel Comics character. Seriously, look him up sometime. Taskmaster. He's awesome. So let's go to Naomi's lab finally and then we'll have all of these places done in one video. Wonder what's over here. Hey, is, ain't that her motorcycle from the first game? Oh, it's you. Damn, she's got a big rack. I'm not finished with that new toy you asked for. Camellia Mark III. What's that? Well, we'll buy it anyway. You're much cuter when you have money. Ain't that all females' opinion on men? Men are more attractive if they have more money on the bank. That's the way women work. So, yeah, I don't know what we just bought here, but I'm sure it's awesome. So, let's see. We've had the lab, the gym, the clothes shop. We don't need to go back to the motel. We've already been there. So, let's go to Burger Suplex. To start talking to Sylvia because Travis is pretty pissed about stuff and probably needs to vent to someone and because he doesn't have any friends because his only friend is dead he'll pretty much have to make do with Sylvia hmm nice limo it's a bit short for a limo but I guess the UAA doesn't really have that big of a budget Sylvia looking good as always you mean your best friend the shopkeeper Sylvia I want to make a deal. I'll conquer the rankings, fight whoever it takes, and in return, you find me the assholes who killed Bishop. Calm down. You shouldn't make this personnel. It is the quickest way to lose a battle. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Fine. It makes no difference. Really. The mastermind behind Bishop's death is the owner of Pizza Bat. This building? 
most of the city. He is the head of the corporation that runs it all. Jasper Bat Jr. And as fate would have it, he is also the number one assassin. You better not be lying. It is a fact. The object of your revenge is waiting at the top of the ranks. Wonderfully convenient, don't you think? Sure is. There's a new hotel on the beach. The 50th ranked assassin is waiting for you there. By the way, Bat Junior owns that hotel too. He really is everywhere, huh? Better hurry. There are 50 other fighters trying to kill him. You have no time to waste. Just sit back, Sylvia. And watch the hell I'm gonna raise. Fuck yeah, raising hell for the win. From here on out, the awesomeness will start. He was the leader of a religious cult. Taking advantage of people's sorrows, he used his music to lure followers. He spoke of a grand faith, but his words were hollow. It was all to satisfy his own goal. He'd only found success because of strong financial support from the new Mafia, who used his pulpit to gain support for their own agenda. Many believed he was just a tool of an up-and-coming gangster. But the real goal that drove him? <laughs> That's a secret. Bah. I don't like secrets. I want to know everything. So yeah, in the next part, we'll get to the next ranking battle for 50th place. Or wait, we were already 50th, I think. I don't know for sure, but we'll figure it out in the next video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Also, watch some of my other LPs, they're all good stuff. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.